Uh, today we'll play Battle of the Arras, 10 mission of Marine Overlord without gens, as is without generals. Now, I have some cool units, but same two day. And I need to occupy all the red circle spots. So. It's a shame because with these uh, armor carrying tanks, it would have been a real party for my generals. I think Lundendorf. 118 generals ability and cavalry. I didn't put the item now because I'm doing history mode, but he's over 100. Or Stonewall Jackson is my second cavalry. They would have loved those units. Life is cruel. Before you hit, think first where do you want to move. So you move first and then you hit. Okay, I need to move to the center, so. Okay, we have 41 fortress still. Took around this guy. Nice, this general is a good one. Why I'm investing this unit? Bring it. Loser unit. So run the city. No more fortress. Let's see new infantry. I beef up the health of the artillery because the health determines the strength of the attack. Okay, I block the, the stable, so they cannot produce more cavalry. Come on, give me the city. Okay, it's a city three. We make it four. That's normally as good as it gets. Don't do more than four. We need to conquer. Focus on blast. Then, when you have the first city with the military academy, normally you have already some cards. In this case, I have a spy and neutralize fortresses. Hmm. And then we said we have uh, air bombing and a march. Good.
Last time I'm gonna heal this guy. This is really the most useful of useless of all. Checking over the enemy in general if they have ambulance, they don't. So I can start bombing this guy. Bombing in the city, the hits are split between blast, between fortress and unit. Which is fine, 170. Underdorf coming. Still not moving. Should send a, a troop in the south. I'm gonna restore your health for one last time. I hate when this happens. Green jacket rifleman always go for the special units. It costs less than the comparable units, so you get them at a discount, basically. The group cannon have no defenses when attacked from nearby. Fortunately, the tank will really struggle to cross the mountains. Still another bombing. I have negative population, so I'm not making enough. Okay, I think we are able to hold the south. So there is this massive battle here. To understand where I'm gonna pass. Here. So first here to make sure we don't have any issue with the city. Then it's very tough to move around here. I'm really struggling to cross with this tank. Sorry guys, I'm gonna just cross it here. Otherwise we don't do any progress. We're halfway. How does it look? Yeah. 
it's really tough to cross and to cross here clearly. my March card that's it. see you need to use your brain I'll upgrade the city the next turn I almost gave it up but I remember I had the card and it was good the gray. Okay. Now I expect Lunderdorf to attack. Turn nine. I'm still negative in population. Hmm. Let's see. First thing I can finally cross. It's a good thing, I would say. Check. It says an ambulance. But good, the artillery are doing a lot of damage. It's good. Just hold this. Upgrade. I have my blast for down there. I probably should invest in a bombing for Ludendorff. Okay, let's see. Surrounding to get the benefit of the moral effect. Group cannon, closer range, very vulnerable. It's pretty much protected. Little left to do. Hmm. 
Let me bump the cities first. This is my last target. C1194 Fortress. What card that should be playing? Bombing, no longer useful. Blast, of course. That was a bit stupid when I done. I didn't realize he had the morale, double morale negative. Anyway. Twelve out of sixteen. But now I'm counter attacking. I don't need to do anything else, check it out. Conquer the city, just put the horse in it, and done. Okay, the enemy algorithm is not very strong. You find these loopholes 